Welcome on guys back, my name is Senki from Vigislots and today we talk about the new BT13 set. What comes in mind? Right, a tier list. What decks are meta, what decks are not, the new decks I explain to you some key cards and we see what fit in the BT13 meta. We do a ultimate cup as well because there were some changes, some bans, we got this, this cast about that the next tier list I post up. But first, right, left, tap about the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe for free because we have a giveaway here. 70% are not subscribed and my channel are watching the video so it would be a huge support if you support me as well. Thank you much guys, this, the giveaway will be huge, don't miss out that. And let's go into this nicely meta tier list. I like to play Vibrant's Breath for 8. Yeah, no, I don't have a mat, but I just want the mat. Like, do you know how to play on Clove mats? The specifically feeling having the mats and like a nice shape and nice coloring. Oh, true! I have like a new sponsoring! Yes, I have a sponsoring, guys, with Magic Mats. Magic Mats is a nice new site that you can buy worldwide worldwide shipping cloth mats made in europe with a nice shape and i got something from them a mat that i can give away to you guys from digimon i show you the mat it looks pretty dope i know i know this mat looks pretty dope and you guys can win what you need to do is be a subscriber like the video and tell me what is your favorite digimon but if you want to buy your own mats with the code dg.5 you spare 5 euro on your buy, I show you guys. We're having here the easily magic mat side. I will put the link down below. You can buy your dual cloth mat and your single cloth mat. And you have anything to ask, you can contact him and easily ask them. And they will provide new mats all the time. Thank you magic mats for doing this, for giving out the sponsoring. And I hope guys you have good luck and having a beautiful, nice cloth mat. Okay. Uh, we start with some old, some new decks. I throw something in, we got that. Um, first of all, Mastermon. Mastermon don't get much support. Maybe BT14. The deck can come back. But right now is the possibility to have an Evo deck. They're not strong enough, uh, not fast enough to keep or compete with the meta. Degrid is a, such a strong card, not gonna lie. But right now, I think Mastermon is not the deck that quite fit in. I think it's still playable but i think most of the decks that has a problem so maybe next set omnimon deck it is pretty good um, it is quite escalating if you draw your cards if you have first off your stack or you play your tamer and go into this deck and recycle that and search a little bit of cards if your opponent is struggling if you're high rolling you have a high potential to do some stuff at the board but if you don't high roll then you have a problem. I would say it is, it is uh, for me a tier 1.5 deck, but one of the lowest tier 1.5 decks. It is playable, but this is uh, 1.5 um, is like it's okay. You can come to the first as well as the tier 2 list, and promoting up to 1.5 is escalating, but I think it's okay. Um, Belfamon. Belfamon is a new deck we getting in the BT13. You're playing with some nice machines that you draw cards on play and by returning cards with Gizemon its name you can play another card with that and you have your higher up monsters to play with that. What is pretty nice, uh, Deformer Sleep Mode, Digivolve 1 from Rage Mode on play with Digivolve by placing non Deformer Rage Mode from the trash as the Digimon top Digivolution card until the end of your opponent's team opponent's turn this Digimon can attack and it's affected by opponent's effect or it makes uh, as unaffected, unaffected for all things and <coughs> is it the opponent's turn once per turn when an opponent's Digimon attacks by touching two cards you can negate uh, that attack what is pretty nice worse is the um, hunter matchup <laughs> what is pretty annoying because it's fast and rage mode you can trash the swords from the Belfmon and then you get your rage mode up Start of your main phase is all of your opponent's level 5 below Digimon and if you have 6 or 3 your cards in your hand, the Digimon gets plus 3000 DP. See if you get plus 1 for the turn. What is pretty nice, end of attack by deleting this Digimon, uh, deleting one of your 
Well, the Digimon Unspent is Digimon. What is pretty nice that you can swing two times with double attack. What is pretty annoying, and if this Digimon is also more Climo, trash the top card of this Digimon, and then you have it again, and you get it all the time back with the Sleep On effect. And then you have your Tamer, what basically um, you can put under your Digimon and delete the level 6 Digimon and have the effect of Digizimon, what is pretty nice. Belfamon as a deck is pretty broken, it is tier 1. It is not um, topping so much events um, recordingly, but I think that this deck is pretty... Ah, we have other decks that are pretty good too. Let me make it 1.5, I think 1.5 in the tier 1 is pretty okay with the deck. Beelzemon, Ultimate Cup, a lot of hits, have a hit of the Impmon, but I think Beelzemon fit in as well in the meta and I think it is tier 1. Not one of the best tier 1s I think, uh, Hunter is a little bit more stronger, having more tops and do stuff, I, but I think tier 1 fits the deck as well. <coughs> then we have Blue Flare, Blue Flare is for me tier 1, it is, has nice support that's getting or got in the EX reform. We don't have much in the EX reform meta to having the experience to play with the deck and the deck um, can be played in the aggressive <coughs> version and the more combo version and stuff like that and the mono cup is also good um, to pick on but it is a tier 1 deck because it's pretty fast and having the mechanic like X cross um, usable build for a meta deck is pretty nice. <coughs> Chaos Dramon not much doing it has a little bit of taunts made of, um, but having not the crate or much support that it should be, and that's the thing. Do stuff if you have your stack, you are pretty annoying. For the ultimate cups, it's pretty pretty dense stack, but we are not ultimate cupping. And what is pretty nice, but if you don't have a minus the piece or worse the shine Ramon, you have a pretty much problem with the deck <coughs> with the deck. And shine Ramon boosts its Marcos to a higher DP. Then you've got on your um, Chaos Dramon, that's the thing, drink something, wait, wait a second. <coughs> I'm sorry, just <coughs> having something in my throat. Um, this deck, I think, is T1.5, the Druid stuff, it's near T1, um, but it depends on what decks they played, or play versus decks. Um, <coughs> then we have the new black support for the blocker deck, it was, with the Kraniamon. Kraniamon block around play with Digivolving until an alpha opponent's turn this Digimon isn't affected by effects by your opponent's Digimon, what is pretty nice. End of turn, choose one of your opponent's Digimon, your opponent's attacks, um, your opponent's attack with the chosen Digimon. What is pretty nice if you have a huge block on your opponent's turn, you're, you're doing like the Chaos Drama mechanic, <coughs> your Digimon swings versus one of your opponent's Digimon, and do you have something to test out? I think it's a playable deck, uh, but not strong enough to compete in the meta. Dark Knightmon is a pretty fast deck as well, but it didn't get so much support later on with the promos and stuff like that. It's pretty good. I think it is still a playable deck with the mechanic to um, <coughs> Digi Crossing, but not having much potential to save stuff. And that's the thing what if the deck would have save or another Tamer and just spend the Tamer to play another Dark Knightmon, giving a rush or something like that, this was pretty annoying. This would be a pretty um, nice deck. Red Hybrid did some tops as well, um, not quite um, the most deck to have in good matchups, but this is the most fastest deck to destroy your opponent's security. If you don't have an answer about the fascinating stuff that they're doing, fascinating for fast, um, I would put it over Sleep Mode because Sleep Mode needs a lot of build up like Chaos Shaman, and you are way much stronger versus your opponent to beat up. Um, it has a good matchup versus um, Bizamon as well, and. Um, Blue, yeah, it's not blue hybrid, <coughs> more meta, but uh, was this the? Um, <coughs> I have something on my throat. I don't know what was the blue flare having a okay matchup. It is okay. Examon did something in the Japan meta, but not quite as much. Having a little bit of tops, but not like the tops we want to see. Um, I think maybe next step, brother, if you get support, but I'm not. But because Mountain Monk gets support, it's really the four of that. Um, Godmon is a deck. <sighs> Dukemon getting support uh, with the new Dukemon you're getting in the set, what is pretty nice, as well as for security control plus fudge. It's like a, a card you can put in every deck. So good at it. Um, it is. What is it? Is it red? I, I searched up the Aldot. There we go. 
When you will play this Digimon card from your hand, if you have no Digimon, reduce the play cost by 2. For every 5 total cards in both uh, players' trash, so it costs 13 at all. It has rush when you play it on play, when Digivolving you might, uh, when you attack, you have all the effects with that. Did one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 kill left? If no opponent's Digimon was the better effect, did one of your Digimon with 3,000 P or more? So you get rid of your highest Digimon on board, which is pretty nice, and this is a card you can do in every deck. Like, if a deck, if a deck goes like a mid range deck, you have the potential to play this card. It is pretty nice to get rid of something, have an additional out, and Digimon doing all the stuff all the time in every set did some tops. Um, I will put it as 1.5, but as a lower bracket because it had some. Problems with the higher tier matchups. Bloom Lord is a deck I will put as well as a tier 1. This deck is always consistent, getting always support and having a little bit of the support from the green stuff coming out. You can play it with the Rosamond package. A little bit of. Have we, have, where we have the green stuff here. We get a little bit of the stuff like that, and you can a little bit abuse it, but you can play your old list as well. And if you come to Rose mode, Burst mode, this deck didn't do much uh, only for it archetype, so I think it is a still playable deck, but not comparing much in the meta. If you play it with more of the Bloom Lord stuff you do and put a little bit of the support in it, then I think this is the best version to play. Now we're coming to Jasmine. Jasmine did some tops too, it has some tops, and I will put it as a 1.5 deck. And um, getting amount of the support is not like not so much but we're getting a new evil line you're getting um like a hackmon's um four hackmon savior and you get your jasmine you get a gunkumon as well and you can read up the effect um huang zero did the deck profile i think it was huang zero did the deck profile and he's pretty good with jasmine so you can look up into it and i think um jasmine is a 1.5 deck compared to the other decks i think it's better than the chaos Ramon. Um, Kataurus Mon is here to build up the package for the security control and I think security control with the Kataurus Mon and with um, the new audience breath the new option card I show you guys not canon here uh, when an effect trash this card from the security stick activate this card main effect so if it's trash with um, something then you don't care when if one of your opponents Digimon gets minus 3000 until the end of your opponent's turn and if there are 6 or 3 security total cards in both player security stack or if your opponent's Digimon get minus 1 which is pretty annoying to have like a little bit of a Windows Mon effect on the board and with the new Kentaurus Mon I show you guys up you can look at it so the video is getting a little bit too long again you can look up it's pretty nice as well with the Galamon you have a little bit of support and I think it is a 1.5 deck it's annoying like having security control in the meta but um, this deck getting like more and more push is it's always there like Death Mon is a pretty good card with the same on board state and if you're not you can build around that what is <laughs> the annoying part of it um, Kusuhamon, uh, Zakuyamon things um, if this deck pop out like the Omnimon deck is, is a near 1.5 deck but if it like built up to be only if you want to destroy your opponent's Digimon like we have an underfatted Digimon that you can even delete and then you pop your need your whole board to pop and then swing the security four times then you could zoom out here this and you have one life and your opponent has five or four like this is a bit of a problem with security corridor this deck has always problems to go and deck out um jasmine is like with jasmine gx a little bit stronger and faster you have a lot of problems with this with the deck but this is still as it should be uh, minerva loop deck so having like purple rush loops decks I think they're still playable, uh, but not compared too much. But they're a little bit fast with the Minerva Mon, what is pretty good. Um, Metal Guard gaining the Ace card and having a purple blue build that can be played. I will put it because it's like we didn't have the Ace card right now. Uh, that's the reason why I put it as a tier 2. Um, it can be promoted to tier 1.5, but I think with EX05 and BT14 and 5th Man. 15 it was um, having us cover up and getting the government line because in BT 14 it was the Agumon line with the Greymon with the War Greymon. I think this deck will get support. Um, what I see at, at here 1.5 um, is Mirage Gaugamon first mode, pretty cool card. Um, where's the best one here? Here we go. 
Äh, plötzlich wirft ein Zero von Mirage Gaugama, put your hands on BTL of Mirage Gaugama if you didn't see why. Look at my best video by returning one Thomas Norstein to your hand at the end of the first evolution, trash is your top card. This is the how the new video girls function. When you will be returning one of your opponent's Digimon to the hand, then gain memory for every four cards of your opponent's hand. You do in your deck, you allow your opponent to draw a card and then you get advantage of it. When attacking, if your opponent has nine or more cards in their hand, by choosing one card in your opponent's hand without looking and returning them to the bottom of the deck, that's eight women under spend this Digimon. And it's pretty nice because you can do that um, again if your opponent has like more than nine cards. If you have eleven, you can swing three times with the card. Well, it's pretty cool, like having a little bit of that. And I think for you to make up this deck will be always as well good as a 1.5 contender. Mother, it's like it's not trash. No, non deck is trash. If you want to put uh, like four red rings, you can play that as well with the mana security bot. I get lost with the with the hundred deck, but uh, maybe next set. I think if the security version with Mother Egg and um, the tower, I think something like that can function. But the whole main deck with the slow deck, yes. But we have right now a really fast meta with the new mechanic we have. Raymon, um, the deck sadly, <laughs> I have a list here, did not top so much. But it does a little bit of uh, eight tops. What is nice to have um, to have more support from ec 4 and then we do to have a combined deck. I think this deck is playable, uh, but not so compared. It's like like the same niche as these ones, where it's pretty good. Then with the most tops in the Japanese Indonesia meta, we have Shangramon um, Burst Mode as the first place. I would like put it like this. Um, this deck is insane, like having the Marco suspending and go up into your new burst mode. What is pretty nice. But you was a zero, you know that. But you evolving, you might play one Marco statement from your hand without paying some memory cost for the turn. The Tema played by this effect can also as a turn to defeat Digimon against Rush in your pro. You turn once per turn when one of your Tamas becomes suspended. Trash to talk out of your opponent's security sex. You're having one additional attacker and one. Trashing security with the swing of the shine one what is pretty nice and if the other mark was like swinging the security again making double checks and stuff like this That's a nice finisher to have what is pretty amazing and you get the whole new evil line as well What you play you play it as a <coughs> As a four off you play this as a four off this is a three off one or two off and two off You don't need so much in the new Marcus Damon's coming out as well as a box topper. It's 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 pretty nice It's a pretty nice deck hunters as well. It's annoying. It's pretty strong. I have it in full high right here it is pretty fast and is a contender. It boosts only with the Spearsimon is it fast enough. H Hydra, <coughs> you can out because they have more on board and you can play Devix more with it. Uh, like versus the Blue Flare, but Blue Flare saving the stuff like that. And you can play Devix Mon against uh, Shangri Mon as well if they have a board and the Marcus Damon goes back and you have four Marcus Damon, three, six, three, six, nine, twelve with one boss mods of fifteen. Maybe there's another Argumon on board, just 18 there, uh, Defix Mon for 2 cost. Like, did you evolve, get rid of the little f 6 or uh, the 5 then, because the burst mode goes back to hand, you don't need especially that much tamer to out the burst mode, which is pretty nice because of the burst mechanic. So, I think this deck is pretty nice with the Quartz Mon and like because there are multiple tamers from both modes of the Digimon, and you can't out it. The only problem you have is versus Sleep Mode versus the. Control was more minus security and if Beelzemon or Hydramon or Shangramon is faster than you, then you have a problem. And then we have the X antibody. <laughs> it's it, it, the wolf force. It's the problem is Kaiser Grandmon is faster, destroyed, Quartzmon in Bloom Lord 1 and Hunter destroyed, Shangramon destroyed, a lot of deck destroying it. It is a tier 2 contender sadly, and I think it stays there a long of time. Uh Walk Raymon. X, uh, not the raid one, the Wargramon X and the Wargramon raid topped a lot of. I will put them both in and I think they're pretty nice 1.5 contender. They're not quite as a tier 1, but I think Wargramon is always available. You can always slam your Wargramon, you're getting a lot of support and I think this deck will always be there. As, as the red Wargramon, I think this is still uh, a good playable deck. Um, but not compared as strong as the dual color ones with the cool boy. And if you get X antibody support or new Argumon line is coming, uh, it's coming out or new X antibody support, this deck is always getting like buffs. That's the thing because it, it enables both colors, red and black. And that's the problem about this because this is always support. Shout one. Maybe next set with more support it is an annoying deck, but can't copy quite much if Pokemon running around and stuff like like 
and it's not affected by anything and this thing is faster it had a lot of problems Yggdrasil Royal Knights is tier 1 it is a mega zoo deck it is pretty annoying and pretty strong King Drasil best name um, like the egg you put always under and then you reduce the cost and play your high Digimon but you if you are really an, an adult excitement boy or girl <laughs> if you collect everything and hate a whole list you can send me on instagram it's down below i will post it then in the good quality because i want to see the deck in full high rare i'm sadly not i'm the only one lover i have the only one deck in full high rare got in my hand on the silver rare <coughs> but this deck looks amazing and has a lot of nice effects with the boss monster only one i should play it uh, why would i build it as a super rare um playing out every royal knight in your threats not every but every copy because if you have two chessmen you only can play one and the other ones got them deleted what is pretty annoying that's the reason why you put every time an under another digimon under that you have multiple digimon that can swing for game in the fastest way but sadly um you lose versus <laughs> hunters what is pretty na ima uh, annoying versus kaiser because they're so strong because that's the reason why kaiser is like near one tier one because there's a lot of matchup but some matchup they are a little bit of worse and uh alpha mom we coming at least this deck sadly did not much in Japanese, but I think it will do a little bit more in Europe, and I will put it as 1.5. Having a new Alphamon uh, support, what is pretty amazing. Can still turn up for a second? I think that was in the second color. Yes. You have like a Nudugreymon, you have a Dogumon, you have a Dogamon, but uh, doing not much. Um, but you can read up the effect. Um, opponents play 10 costs or higher, can detect and. You have an Oldman's effect, what is pretty nice, but this is like more compared to the Royal Knight deck that you can play this card, but you can play this in your Royal Alpha Mon as well. And I think it's pretty nice to have it there. And this is my tier list for the BT13. You can <laughs> look up and too. I hope you liked it. Tell me what deck you're playing in the next meta BT13, and we'll see that the Ultimate Cup list. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Stay healthy. You're Zenki. Bye.